Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the SIP integration, the configuration of SIP integration on UCM as well as Unity side. Let's start the SIP integration between CUCM and Unity. Let me log in on the CUCM first. Okay, so we need to create the SIP trunks. So before the SIP trunk, we need to create the SIP profile as well as SIP trunk security profile. But before that, let's create one CSS and one partition, which we need it in the route pattern. I, we need to uh, choose the route partition actually. So let's create the CSS and one partition for that. Click on add new. Let me give the name of CSS as an internal. So we are configuring the CSS, but before that we need to configure the partition. So let's configure the partition first and then we will come back to the CSS. Click on add new. Let me just give the name as internal partition. Click on save. After that, go to call routing class of control and calling search space again. Click on add new. Now you can uh, give the name as internal CSS description is you can say test CSS. And here from the available partitions, you need to choose. We, we will choose with the one which I just created that is internal. So I just created this one. So let me choose this partition, click C. If you guys have, if you guys doesn't have any idea about the CSS and partitions, then I will, uh, I will just uh, put the link in the description or on the I button. So you can see my video on the font configuration and the line configuration. There I explained the CSS and partitions. Okay, let's move to the next one. Like we need to create the SIP trunk, but before that we need to create the SIP profile and SIP trunk security profile. So let's go to systems, go to security, SIP trunk security profile. Click on add new. Okay, we need to give the name. Let me just give the name as non-secure SIP trunk security profile description we can say sip trunk security profile for vm okay so device security mode that is non-secure pcp udp now you need to check this one like accept accept out of dialogue accept non-solicited notification accept replaces header so these are the things which is which are related with the sip if you have idea about the SIP, then you must know like uh, what all are the things these except out of dialogue, except unsolicited notification and except replaces header. Let me click on save. And if you guys doesn't have any idea about these things, then I'll put the link in the description so that you can check out my video on the SIP as well. So our SIP trunk security profile has been created as it's showing it's successful. So let me create the SIP profile now. You can go to the device, device settings, and then SIP profile. Click on add new. Okay, 
now you need to give the name as test set profile for vm description you can give the same test set profile for vm okay and then uh, let's check it out so you don't need to change anything in that let's just click on save So your SIP profile is created and successful. All SIP devices using this profile must be restarted before any changes will take effect. So if there is something which is related to the SIP profile, then we need to restart all these devices. So now your SIP profile and SIP trunk security profile is created. Let's move on to the SIP trunk. Click on add new. Okay, so trunk type, you need to choose, you are creating a SIP trunk, and then it will take automatically device protocol as SIP. Trunk service type, none default, you click on next. Okay, so you now you need to give the device name here. Let me give the device name as SIP trunk to Unity. And here you can give the same as well, or you want to change it, you can. Then device pool, you need to select the device pool as well. So here I'm I'm using, I, I can use the default one as well, or there is one device pool, which I created earlier for the voicemail. So I can use this one as well. Let me just choose the default one right now. And then you need to choose location is already there, Abna, and I'm not going into that right now. Okay, you don't need to change anything here. Okay, so now in the destination address, you need to put the Unity IP here because we are creating a safe trunk from CUCM to Unity. So my Unity uh, IP address is this one. Let me just put it. Down. And here you need to choose the things which we created earlier, that is SIP trunk security profile and SIP profile. So let me choose the SIP trunk security profile. So I created non-secure SIP trunk security profile. Let me click on this one. And then I created the SIP profile as well. So I created test SIP profile for VM. Let me choose this one and then save. The configuration changes will not take effect until a reset, okay? Okay, so SIP trunk is added successfully. Now you need to create a route pattern. Let's just go to the call routing, route pattern. Click on add new. Now you need to give the route pattern number here. So I can just take, you can just take an example like uh, three, four, four, five. It should be the same. Like we will be creating the voicemail pilot number as three, four, four, five. So we need to create the route pattern with the same. Now you need to uh, add the partition here as well. So I can, choose one which I created internal partition description you can say route pattern for oh, route pattern for unity and then there is one thing which you need to choose that is gateway slash route list so this one here you need to choose the SIP trunk which we just created so I created the one SIP trunk to Unity. Let me create, let me click on this one. I will choose this one. Route option is showing route this pattern. Okay, and you don't need to change anything here and that. Just click on save.
Okay, now your route pattern is successfully created. Let's move to the next configuration that is voicemail pilot. Go to the advanced features, voicemail, and then the voicemail pilot. Click on add new. Now you can choose, the, you can just enter the same number which you created for route pattern that is three, four, four, five. And CSS, you can choose which you created for this voicemail. I just create, I just give the name of internal as internal CSS. You can create any one. So description, you can put it as VM number for SIP integration. Save it. So now our voicemail pilot is also created. Let's create the voicemail profile, which is the last step for the configuration on the CUCM side. Click on add new. So we need to give the SIP profile name. Let me give the SIP profile name as SIP. Integration to no, let's just give the name as SIP VM profile. Description you can choose the same. And then in the voicemail pilot, you need to choose which you just created. I just created 3445 internal CSS. Click on this one. If you need to use the voicemail box mask, then you can. Otherwise, you can just leave it. Click on save. Okay, now your all configuration is done on the CUCM side. That is you created voicemail profile, you created voicemail pilot number, you created route pattern, and you created the SIP profile as well. Let's move on to the Unity side. Let me, let me just log in on that. Okay, so just scroll it down to the telephony integration. There you can find the font system. Click on font system first. There you can create add new. So font system name, let me just give the font system SIP. Click on save. So this font system SIP is created. Now you need to add the, you need to create the port groups. Just go to the, this related links and you can click on go so that it will open that port group configuration page. Now it is showing create from port group type. It's already, it's already choose the font system type SIP because we are under that. So create from port group type, we need to choose S, SIP SIP here not the SSAP as we are doing the uh, SIP configuration. So now you can see once I choose SIP, the MWA on and off extension is not showing there. Now, just a display name, you can give anyone, you can give the font system SIP one and you can give any, any name here in the display name actually. And then SIP security profile that is 5060 non-secure SIP transfer protocol is TCP. Now here you need to add your IP of your CUCM. Let me just add 10, 10, 20 dot one. Click on save. Now it is showing you need to create the ports as well. So let me create the port. It is showing greater links in the ports. Click on go, or you can go it here in the telephone integration on the left side on the port group and port. You can do it anyway. Number of ports. It's like I need like five ports from the VM. Okay, so font system, which I created font system SIP already chosen. Port group, which I created font system SIP one already chosen. Server, that is CUC server, it's already chosen. Now the port behavior they are asking, like they need to answer the calls as well, perform massive notifications, MWI request, 
and the allow trap connections as well. So these are already checked, but if they are not checked, you can check it. Now click on save. And you can see your phone system SIP, phone system SIP 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. As you choose five ports, these are already, these are created now. So now there is one thing which we left, like if we, uh, if I just want to add another subscriber to the phone system, which we created, let me just open this one. So you can just open the phone system here and then click go to add it. Click on servers. Here you can add your another server, like another subscriber. Let's, let's just click on add. You can put one. That is a priority actually. So let me just give another server this one 10, 10, 22. Port should be same. And then click on save. Okay, now it's showing updated server. You can check it in the port, like your port has been created, which we already checked it earlier as well. So this is the configuration on Unity side and on the COCN side, which we did earlier. Now you just need to uh, make a call from your phone. Like if you're doing the configuration, you just need to test it out, like whether the call is going to the Unity or not through the SIP trunk. That's all about uh, the configuration of SIP integration between CUCM and Unity. So I hope I hope you guys uh, liked my video, and I hope you had learned something uh, in this video. Please let me know in the comment section actually whether you liked it or not, or if you uh, want any other thing on the Unity as well as on the CUCM side. I think that's that's all. So please, please do like and uh, share my video with your friends and colleagues and, and don't forget to uh, subscribe the channel and please press the bell icon so that uh, you can receive the notifications of all my upcoming videos. Thank you.